Bondi's Barnyard is a colorful and fun-filled place by day, but at night it takes on a sinister tone. As the security guard hired to watch over the barnyard after hours, it's your job to keep an eye on the animatronic animals and make sure everything runs smoothly. But as the nights go on, you'll start to realize that something is off about the animatronics. They seem to be acting more and more aggressively, and it's up to you to figure out why and stop them before it's too late. Can you survive the five nights at Bondi's barnyard and uncover the mystery behind the animatronic attack? Well, not really. This game is not from the perspective of a security guard, but from that of a child with a blood chilling ending. Today I will be explaining the ending of the game which basically goes over the story of Barney's Barnyard. At the beginning of the game we are given a basic introduction to the animatronics of Barney's Barnyard. Employment of a security guard is really an arbitrary decision to fulfill a legal requirement. Bondi, Grice, Forty, they're all equipped with a security system capable of tracking down any intruder. They can even hear a person breathing within a 50 meter radius. What about the cow? Cool, the cow is different in that she is designed to care for a child who has lost their parents. Uh, she will keep them closer until the parents return. Excuse me, but this all seems a bit excessive for a children's establishment. Well, even though the animatronic security system is very hands-on, they wouldn't be able to kill an adult. What about a child? <laughs> All animatronics are security-wise enhanced, except for the cow which is built to take care of a child in case it loses its parents and even though it does not have the capabilities to kill an adult, it does have the full power to kill a child. The game takes place inside of the cow animatronic and the child must survive a whole 6 hours of one night while other animatronics try to kill him as they identify him as an intruder. The child survives the hours except for the final hour where the oxygen supply is cut off and the child suffocates to death while inside the cow animatronic and this ruins the reputation of the establishment. The story of the child is shown through drawings of the animatronics with the chick representing the child and shows him interacting with different animatronics. Happy birthday, my child. For your gift, I'll let you go to Bondi's Barnyard. Hey, you look sharp as a sausage. I'm building a house. What material should I use for it? Bricks, of course! Thank you! Hey there! Would you want to be my little shepherd for today? Could you count all of these sheep? There's one sheep. Thank you so, so much. Have a continued happy birthday. Welcome to Bobby's Barnyard. I got something here just for you. Blow out whenever you're ready. And, um, is something wrong? Um, don't worry. Um, whatever it is, I'll protect you. I promise.
The child is sent to the establishment by his parents and he interacts with different animatronics there but an accident occurs with one of the humanoid animatronics with the child lighting it on fire. This causes the child to panic and run away after which he encounters the cow animatronic whose safety features causes it to carry the child inside of it. But there is no space to breathe in the animatronic so the child has to come out to gasp for air and his breathing sound attract the other animatronics as they are highly sensitive to sound and they identify the child as an intruder so they all try to incapacitate him. There is a security guard present as well but he does not know that the child is hiding inside the animatronic and if the cow makes any movements the guard shocks it to reset it as the cow animatronic is not supposed to move like the other animatronics. The child eventually survives till morning but but he does not know that everything resets, which locks the child inside the animatronic with no air or room to escape, so the child dies a slow death by suffocation. The body is then discovered few days later as shown by the newspaper clippings of the missing child as well as its discovery.